mercenary foreign service running intelligence ops deep inside the Galactic Federation. As far as I'm concerned, they're all a bunch of humps sucking drones with absolutely no sense of purpose in their lives. So, I created my own purpose. I took everything I'd learned about the border zone and cargo transit routes from both sides, and I, I put it to my own good use. Let the state and Federation worker bees conduct the sweat work. I'll just lighten their loads a little bit. In this universe, pilots are free to choose their own economic and political destinies. Some choose to mine the resources of our great frontiers. Some choose to run cargo missions. Still others try to flex their muscle by hunting bounty on outlaw pilots. I keep all these guys very busy. Sure, they're constantly trying to build a faster ship or better weapons, but they just don't get it. Brains are a better weapon than any Megatron-class battleship or any Graviton smart bomb. And my brains have built an empire all my own. I like it out here in the New Eden. It's truly a promised land. I promise I'll discover your trade and passenger routes. I promise I'll overtake any ship that runs through my turf. I promise I'll put to good use whatever I find on board. And I promise nobody will get hurt in the process. Oh well. Three out of four ain't bad. I'm here. And I'm ready when you are. Hi everyone! Wow, I'm very loud. I'm gonna turn myself down. I'm very loud. Hello, uh, from from Argentina. We have I don't even know how to pronounce your first name. I think it's L Lotaro, Salvatore. Hello, hello. Uh, no, I'm not talking to you. No one can hear you either because you're not unmuted yet. But literally, as soon as I said hello, I'm going to turn myself down even more. Literally, as soon as I said hello, um, someone popped in chat and said hi from Argentina. And it was Lutaro Salvatore. <laughs> and that was, that was not... <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, no one can hear you still. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it so they can hear you. Jake Terrio's hello. here. Uh, Jake hello. Terrio, who... Did not flee to Argentina after the war. Um, oh boy! <laughs> but he's here. Um, how's it going? Uh, I'm good. How are you? Just you know, flying the friendly skies. You know, we're here. Another episode of Server Quest. Sorry, I'm trying to text my brother because we had our dates messed up um, for streaming, and now I feel bad um, because I thought we were. He thought I meant Thursday, but he thought I. He thought I thought I thought. It was today. Uh, so mm, I'm saying he can hop in Discord and chat with us if he would like to. Um, so we're here in EVE Online. This is Server Quest Live, uh, where we go through the history of MMO games. Um, Ian hates this show, so he's not here. I've got Jake <laughs> Terrio. Uh, it kind of worked out. Ian's on vacation, and Jake was going to be in this episode anyways. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is a game that came out in... 2003 that's the year mm -hmm. we've moved up to in i think we started 1989 i think that was the first one that which was on right. mud and now we're all the way at 2003 uh ccp games uh we've been there uh we've been outside of it that was the, yeah that's the one in iceland right yes okay. yeah Reykjavik. i'm not crazy i left we before you guys went there, oh but... you weren't there sorry i was thinking mm -hmm. it was kyle left early you left no, early I had to, so i had to leave early because i had booked my flight for the wrong day <laughs> yeah so smart um yeah that's what i forgot it you were just yeah you were earlier in the morning but anyways we mm -hmm. went there and the the monument was like under repairs or something but we oh. saw like the building they were working in uh anyways uh, i'm gonna switch over to eve here Give me two seconds. Little transition here. Uh, Jake is waiting outside. This is my Cormorant, the uh, aptly named Bantu Wind. 
Um, I'll set a timer for Jake to figure out the reference. And um, it's wait, say it again. The Bantu Wind. I don't actually know if you'll get this. I don't know. I don't know if I. It's not a science fiction that. movie. I'm looking at the stream though, and it looks like they redesigned the cormorant since last time I played. I, I like it. Okay, let me undock. I'll come out and meet you. Um, so actually, this is the first game that I didn't start with a tutorial on stream because it's a lot. And this is also one of the games that I've played before, so I kind of just hop back in, made a new character, and uh, been doing a bunch of the stuff. Oh, there you are. I'm going to orbit you at 500 meters. That's pretty close. Hit my, hit my afterburners. Really get over there. Oh, if I turn on my micro warp drive, you will never catch me. <laughs> oh no. My my max speed is uh almost fourteen hundred meters a second. Oh, I'm honestly I'm devastated at this news because I was really looking forward to Daisy on Thursday. Uh and now I feel feel dejected. I won't let it and ruin you, our stream here tonight though. You whiffed it. I whiffed I'm it. I'm gonna track you with my camera. Whoa, look at your cool ship. Yeah, um, man. The one thing I'm I, a big, big fan of the Core X. I know you can. Uh, oh, think, think, Jip, think, Jipson in the chat. <laughs> uh, hello, I am here to offer my usual words of discouragement and judgment. Usual words. Uh, I would expect that from a stream mom, but since this, I think this is your first time, I'm not really quite sure. I think it's Jibson, like Jibson. GIF instead oh. of GIF. T Hink Jibson uh, is here. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, Tom Hanks' brother. <laughs> that's the stupidest joke I've ever said. Um, wait, a good bit. Keep it going. Why does it say I can pilot your ship? Uh, oh, it I says don't... oh, pilot as in you pilot. Please bounce. No, if there's so if you're like, if you come across an empty ship and you're in your capsule, you can claim it. Um, but I am obviously in my ship, so I don't know what would happen if you tried to do. Or maybe it's saying you have the ability, like you have the skills to pilot the ship, because it's it's a Caldari destroyer, so you should. Oh no, pilot opens up a sub panel that gives you info about me, the uh, pilot of okay, the that ship. Makes more sense. Um, so I'm gonna if do I click on yours. It shows you something. Give me two seconds. And we are both uh, members of our special Subpixel Eve Corporation. It's true. Subpixel Galactic. It's a good name. It's a very good name. Uh, I could T make a Hank, custom logo. Having delivered that, I will now leave. That's a weird. That's a disjointed sentence. Um, I like... Uh, I'm going to... Here, I can look at your ship, right? I can look at. Yeah, I yeah. can look at it. I wow. can look at yours. Um, Jake, question. These ships yes. are big. Mm -hmm. Am I, am I the only one flying my ship? Yes. So the all the ships in Eve within the lore of the universe um can be manned by various size crews, but the whole idea of a capsuleer is that you are the only one controlling your ship from inside your capsule. Which, gotcha. if your ship is destroyed, obviously it, that capsule ejects, and then you can go um, find another ship. Get so in, plug yourself in. I'm hmm. not even in my ship. I'm in my capsule in my ship. You you are floating like Keanu Reeves in the Matrix, little human battery pods inside a smaller ship that's inside this ship. Then what are all the windows for? For if this were to be manned by a crew, the, the, there are more pilots in Eve. The NPC pilots are not capsuleers. So theoretically they would be, you know, this would uh, be a ship crewed by like 20 or 30 people. That makes more sense. Okay. I'm going to go back and look at my ship. Um, okay. So we're kind of just do a mishmash of stuff here. Um, yeah, I think I think I like this game, but it's not. I think I have to pay attention to it too much. <laughs> it is not 
I mean, if you get anywhere out of high sec, it's not a game where you can be idle. Um, yeah. Because it's, it's very dangerous. Eve is one of those games where at some level, griefing is encouraged. Um, <laughs> once you get outside, like the the npc controlled areas because there are vast swaths of eve that are exclusively player controlled gotcha like there's no ccp has no influence on like who controls what outside of their main areas that are like tied to the lore and have npc kind of protection that's crazy like a wild yeah west. It's super wild see like that it aspect is a wild of it, west. like yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Well, because um, if you pull up the star map, it's whatever, like, 7,000 plus individual systems. And I think only a couple hundred are controlled by NPC factions. Oh, yeah. So Jake Jake and I are here in Akanivas. I'm not. I'm, there's a million of these I'm not going to try to pronounce. I, I'll just say Akanivas. I'm sure they have some root in, in Icelandic dialect, but... Oh. Hey, question As is we learned being Earth, in Iceland. Is Earth anywhere here? Or is this a different no. galaxy? This is yeah, this is New Eden, an entirely different it's a hold on. Oh great. He's got a get in the book. Flip through my my lore book. <clears throat> in the year AD seventy nine eighty seven, roughly fifteen thousand years ago. Blah 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 blah. Um not long after, compelled by their dire circumstances, a team of scientists and specialists from several nations mounted the first manned expedition through the portal. Um, so essentially what happened was they found this wormhole in the Milky Way. A bunch of people went through it over hundreds and hundreds of years, and then that collapsed, and everybody was trapped now in this new system, which then preceded the events that are EVE Online. Gotcha. So there are people from Earth originally uh millennia ago millennia yeah. ago where are you going i just warped to the uh akinavas 2 for some reason oh the planet let me join you there yeah it's kind of quiet out here look at these planets man this game has great atmosphere i'll tell you that much mm -hmm. um yeah and there's all sorts of like um and the skyboxes in this game are are some of the best um because there's a if you if you set um waypoints or 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 like markers to get to uh well let me let me just tell you go to can you see i've got a route um bookmarked for where we'll head to try to do some PVE stuff. Can you see, like, does that show up on your... It doesn't look like it's showing up no. on stream or not. Um, wait, what is this worm thing over here? What are you talking about? Over here, this... What is this green thing? Why is it so Oh, well, that's just showing where the um, Stargates jump to. But why is it only so showing me that? It's a Stargate that I guess it bypasses um, some other systems. I presume that's what that is. I'm, I'm. Might but it's actually. weird that it's showing it to me, even though it's. Oh, look! There's one over there. Wow, that's like a big jump. Okay, so I'm dropping a destination into chat. Gotcha. Right click, right click on that, and say. Um, set destination. Set destination and. Then if you look out at the star field, you will see, um, like a travel montage in an Indiana Jones film, you will see it like charted in the <sighs> actual stars. Oh, whoa! So I didn't secondarily know that. to that, going back to the idea of skyboxes, there are parts of, um, like if you look out towards. I can't actually see where you're... Hold on. Let me see where your ship is oriented. If you look out across the bow of your ship and you'll see that green nebula off in the distance. Yeah. If we flew to a system out that direction, eventually that nebula will get closer until we are inside it and that's the new skybox. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, man. 
Okay. Wow. Can I shoot you? Um, not if you're... So you see that little dot in the top left of your combat UI and your, like, capacitor and, and shields and hull and everything? It's oh. green right now? Yes. That will not let you shoot me. If you set it to yellow, I still think it will then prompt you to confirm whether or not you want to shoot me. Because if you shoot me right here, right now, Concord will come after you. Oh, maybe um, I shouldn't do that. If you set it to red, it will not give you any warning. Um, so there are certain actions that if performed in high sec, you will be given a 15 minute suspect status, which means that other players can hunt you with impunity. Um, and we might actually... I don't know if our corp allows friendly fire, so it might not allow you to do that anyway. I'm oh, not sure. I didn't even think about that. I'm going to boop you. Don't boop me! I'm, I'm coming in for a boop. I want to see me just pop in the top of your frame. Leave your camera right there. <gasps> coming in for a boop. Oh... This is good booping. How do you fly your oh. ship? What do you mean? Can you just fly around or no? Um, there was at some point, I think, a discussion in some patch notes of potentially allowing WASD controls of ships, but I don't know if that ever manifested. I just use their keyboard shortcuts. Um, w is orbit. E is keep at distance. Q is approach. Um, generally, if I'm in a battle, I will find a fixed point in space, like a structure or an asteroid or something, and orbit around that. Mm -hmm. um, but I can't just fly can... to the other side of this planet. No. Okay. You would ha I mean, you, you could, if I guess you theoretically told you could orbit the planet at, you know, whatever, we're at like 5,000 kilometers from it if you orbited at 5,000 kilometers eventually you would get around to the other side but no there's not a way to like use your arrow keys to fly down there gotcha wait what is is it, is it alt w how do I lock on to something again uh control left click control left click oh it's w left click that's what I was doing. I was doing control Orbit. W. Alright, where are you going? Are you orbiting planet? No, I'm orbiting this customs office. Oh, yeah. Those are for if you have uh, planetary facilities um, constructed on a planet for, like, mining oh. and, and material. Uh, like, you can manufacture stuff and sell it. It's a lot of work, and I I have dabbled in it, but I don't enjoy it. There's a lot of stuff you can do in this game. <laughs> yeah, tell me about you it. You can play this whole game and never actually engage in any combat, which is kind of wild. All right, I'm drafting behind you. Oh, man. Wait, hold this on. All right, let me hit my micro warp drive, and I'm about to... Bye-bye. Oh... Oh, you went zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah. I am very fast. I'm like four scuppers. That is only so I'm fast. Only I'm not an idiot. <laughs> like four Only I'm not an idiot. Okay. Um, okay. So are we taking this route now? Uh, do yeah, I so let auto me, follow I you? Will, I will warp fleet. I can warp the gotcha, whole fleet gotcha. as commander of the fleet. As commander of the fleet. Here we go. I think I will probably jump to warp slightly ahead of you because I've got... Um, there is a skill associated with um, how quickly your ships lock to the warp vector, and I can't remember what it's called, but I know that I, I have that maxed out. Gotcha. I like that the skills are researched when you're offline. Yes, that was that's super cool. I'm researching right now um, Kaldari Destroyer Level 5. And that's going to take me another six days, seven hours, 30 minutes, and 45 seconds. It's like, I like, like, I feel like they did enough work, because this game's free to play, uh, if I didn't mention that. Um, to a point. To a point. 
but I think that to a point is is appropriate. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot you can do, but there, like some of yeah. it makes me angry. Like a lot of that, like uh, ship tree is blocked off. Mm-hmm. Um, I I mean, they let you into battleships though, which is like several months of you would have to be playing to train into battleships. Um, that's actually the highest level of ship that I can pilot. Um, here, let me all right, I'm, ship are you in Air Air Keo? Uh, I am. No, am I just sitting here? You have to. I can't. I can't jump you through the gate. You have to do that yourself. Oh. I'm jumping. Sorry, I missed that part. No, no, no! You're good. Please don't yell at me, Jake. Yeah, I was. I I thought to to roll up on you in my battleship, but I thought that it might actually not be very conducive to what we're trying to do. Because <laughs> it is big and it is slow, but it can take out targets from eighty kilometers. So, all right, are you here now? Yes, I'm here now. Okay, warp. Oh, I see you decloaking. <gasps> I'm decloaking. Yeah, this yeah, game so has great style. In these in these lower security status systems, um, you'll get higher chances of um, like PVE combat sites, and so I'll try to track down some of those for us. Ones I know won't get us immediately murdered. I don't know if my ship's insured, but that's okay. I can buy you a new one. Oh, so that was the other thing I was going to say. In the wallet, it tracks uh, your income per the last 30 days, and um, which I guess is pretty close to around when you were like, hey, let's play EVE for server quest. Um, <laughs> and I rebooted my account and everything. I was miraculously able to get back into it. I've made, and this is pretty paltry in the terms of the greater eve economy but i've i've raked in 127 million isk since uh wow. hopping back on a lot of that was just selling off stuff i had sitting in my item hanger though i'm uh my income is plus 11 million i have s- lo- uh spent 34 million i spent 2 million wow that's crazy Hey, I noticed that there's a give isk, so um, yeah. you just want to go ahead. Do you want to give you some money? No, I'm just kidding. I can afford, like, a surprisingly amount. Like, I bought this ship. The ship was only, like, a million, I think. Like, that seems cheap to me. But, like, I was going to buy it. Did you just give me five million isk? <laughs> you jerk. I am a benevolent god. <laughs> I don't want you to be a benevolent god. All right, I'm jumping to uh, Idokin through the gate. Idok, what? I'm in. I'm in Is Isanamo. Oh, that's where I am now. Okay. But the next one is Makarami. Not Satuban. I got. What are, I have two roots on my thing, I just realized. Oh, you might have a mission that's telling you to go somewhere else. No, I have... Both of these end up in Lone Trek. It's just, oh, it's just saying I can do either. I can I'm go to Satuban, or I can go to Sanamo. Like, they'll both get me there. I think. Yeah, there are some like that. Me. And there's some systems that, that, like, dead end, which I think is... A little weird, but occasionally I'll end up in one to be like, "Oh, I can't go anywhere from here except back." Oh gosh! Ooh, you're... hello! <laughs> oh, hello, man! Cup, the front of your ship other in warp. Very cool. You look like a submarine yeah. almost, like this a U-boat. Was, um, they added like a secondary type of destroyer, I think, in like 2015 or 2016. Um, so I think does it say when I first? made the account i i made this account in 2012 oh where does it say that uh in your character sheet uh, character sheet 
In that so if I if you click on me and say show info, I think it will tell you if you go to my. Uh, show info. Or I don't know. Maybe it won't. This says employment history. Oh, that shows all the corps I've been in. Bio. Which a lot of those are NPC. 15 Minute Outliers was the first player corp I was in. Or, no, I guess Blade Runner Group was the first player corp I was in. Though no, I was only Blade in that for four days. And then I was in 15 Minute Outliers for like almost a year. And then Rational Anarchists was a corp that formed out of the remnants of 15 Minute Outliers when there was a um, collapse of sorts, let's say. Um, we too were a small like 100 person corp but even that is subject to the well documented infiltration of people in EVE that just want to cause a ruckus okay so there are actually not it doesn't look like there are any anomaly sites in here what other places okay. so this just I'm says when my character again. was born not when I made the account Okay, I'm warping us to Pycura. But I want to say I made this... Must have been years ago. I don't actually or the know. Born... Yeah, the Born is the date that you made the account. Is I made the character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have another character on here. I want to go see when he was born. Oh. Yeah, you might need an Omega account to have two characters open at the same time. Which just seems like that would be chaos to manage. Well, I noticed, like, when you launch the account, it's like adding account to launch, mm -hmm. uh, like, queue. So I'm like, are people launching multiple accounts and, like... Yeah, yeah. That's, you like, can crazy. Run... Yeah, it's super weird. And I feel like that requires um, an amount of, like, omniscience that I just do not have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this movie screen. Astero, available oh, yeah. to they've all. added tons. They, they've added tons of like little effects like that as the engine has gotten better. Um, okay, what's here? Here we might have something. I'm waiting for my scan to complete. Uh, e e white glaze belt. There might be some pirates in there. Okay, hold on. I'm warping the fleet to within 20 Wait, kilometers. What's here? the range oh, on your you're... weapons? Just so I have an idea. Um, My... Three times light electric blaster is fall off range is two thousand meters. Okay, yeah, hybrid cannons are pretty close range. And then those are hybrid Gatling hybrid gun, cannons, yeah. Yeah, my Gatling gun is nine thousand meters. And oh, then it looks like my rockets are forty five hundred. Okay, it looks like there was already some combat here. This orca. Wait, can we go steal all this stuff? Uh, we should not. We are still in a security system where uh, we will get attacked for that kind of thing. Dang. I wanted to be a criminal. Well, we can jump into this point four security system and see what's up. Let's do it, baby boy. Okay, it gives us a minute. You've got a minute in cloak after you jump through the gate. So I'll warp to within zero, and then let's jump through it at the same time so we can get a lay of the land. Um, and uh, this stream may be over pretty quick. Woo! If we both get annihilated. Okay, I got like 12 other bantams. GameCube's just oh, yeah, giving it to me. Well, it's the fact that my clone is very far away from you. Uh, oh, I didn't even think about that. All right, I, um, I'm at the gate. Me too. Okay. Jump on three. One, two. Three. Okay. I think I did that right, but you cut out as soon as you said three. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, or as soon as you said one, I don't know which one it was. Okay, there are five people in local. That means three that aren't us. So I'm gonna 
I'm going to take us to one of these sites, and if there's another player there, we'll just blip out of it. Drone Menagerie. Okay. Let's see what happens if we warped within 20 kilometers. This is so exciting. Mm-hmm. I will say the one thing that I think is cool about this game, but also the thing I don't like, is... Like, I want one ship, and I keep adding to that one ship. Mm. Like, I I don't know if I like having multiple ships. Okay, I'm going to take out these missile turrets first, because those are going to do the most damage did, to did us. You, wait, did you warp without me? Oh, I may have. Hold on, warp to me, if you I, can do that. I can't see you. Can you warp to me from the fleet, if you right-click oh. on me? Uh, warp to member. There we go. Sorry, I thought I warped the fleet, but maybe I didn't. Yeah, if I'm uh, taking these missile turrets, if you want to try to get some of these drones, looks like there's some destroyers and a couple of cruisers. Uh -oh. Don't be a hero, though. Or you can help me take out these missile turrets, because they're going to be able to do the most damage to us. Um, which ones are the missile turrets? The missile turrets are the little uh, box icons, oh, sentry guns, and some missile turrets. And then it looks like two cruisers and three destroyers. Heavy missile battery? Yeah. Get rid oh, of those. Whoops. They're taking out my shields. Oh no, I, how do I look at myself again? Um, Jake, I've messed up. What did you do? I've, I'm looking at you now. Click the eyeball. Click the eyeball. What eyeball? Up on the top right UI. Track. Oh, look at my ship. Thank you. Wait, why am I not flying at this? Alright, I am... My shields are getting hit pretty hard. I might have to blip out of here in a second to recharge yeah hold on I'm gonna wait if your shields are taking a hit what are my shields gonna take well I'm just gonna pop out and I'm gonna pop right back in okay oh that's shooting at me but yeah don't don't be a hero if you need to jump out of there, jump out and then jump back. What's the easiest way to just jump out of there? Um, just jump to one of the gates. Gotcha. All right, I'm uh, heading back. Okay, I'm shooting at a thing. I just needed to get them off my tail for a second. I don't know if I'm hitting this. Because I've got pretty good shield recharge. I just... Um, well, you, if you told me your hybrid cannon would be pretty close to those things. Um, yeah, I'm not close enough yet. At what point of my three rings of shields should I get out of here? Um, do you have anything with which to repair? No, so I should probably jump. Yeah, if you lose your shield, you should probably jump and then yeah, come get out of here. Oh, please go. Please go. Please warp. Just warp. Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything that manually recharges my shield. I just have a bunch of stuff that makes their refresh pretty quick. Oh, yeah, boy. There's also, it doesn't appear that there's a station in this system for you to get repairs, so we might have to jump out to somewhere with a station if you need to, like, actually repair gotcha. your hull or anything. Whoa, what did I jump to? Free You port? might have jumped to a... Oh, maybe that's a player station. I'm not 100% sure. Oh. And dock at it. Yeah, see if you can hop in there. But it doesn't look like I'm looking on stream. It doesn't look like your hull got damaged. But it will still recharge your shield if you're in there. Okay, I'll dock at it. Come back. Oh. oh, it cloaked me to go in. Oh. That's neat. Yeah, it looks like you've got some statuses on the top of your UI. What are those? 
What this? Or what were those? Since I know this stream is a little bit behind. I have non capsular log off time. Oh, wait, what which one are you talking about? No, no, no. When you head back outside, there were two little uh, statuses over your combat UI. Gotcha. Um, we'll check those. And I didn't know if you were getting like your warp scrambled or something, because that's usually where those things will show up. Well, I think I'm good now. Okay, I'm going to warp back right, I'm to faring you. pretty well. I've almost got this heavy missile battery dead, and then I should be pretty good. My shield should recharge. It's just the heavy missile batteries hit really hard. Um, but I've almost got it. And then if you, because these are these are drone cruisers and drone destroyers, so if you get within like three thousand kilometers or whatever you said it was that your optimal range is, you mm -hmm. should be within their optimal range enough that they shouldn't be able to hit you. Gotcha. But I would not swear to that. Um, so you're saying the. Which ones were those? The the like the shatter alveor. Um, yeah, I've got the missile turrets. So yeah, the predator, 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 shatter, predator and shatter are destroyers, and the devastators are the cruisers. Gotcha. Um, so I'm going towards on, the predator. Me... Need to orbit the ghost ship. Oh, that's a big old explosion. Yeah, that was the sentry gun that that was so cool. Just got destroyed. Yeah, they they redid all the uh, explosions a couple years ago, and they're all really cool now. And there's like a giant submarine right there. What is that thing? Whoa! So if another player were to warp into this area, I think they will appear in red, but I'm not sure. Um, they might appear in yellow. And then if it's just one, we might be able to take them. But gotcha. We'll make that call when <laughs> when we get there. Are you getting I don't know if you if we're gonna split the bounty payout or if we only collect the bounty. Tell me what happens when the next of these ships explodes. There will be like a green text that shows up where the damage text happens that'll say like X amount of isk added to your bounty payout. Let me know if uh, after I destroy this guy if it says, like, this one says it has a fifty-one thousand isk bounty on it. So close. Uh, I got twenty-five thousand isk. Okay, so it is splitting the bounty between us. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hitting them. Yeah, so these drone hideaways are not, like, as visually interesting as heading up against other ships. Um, but it is a good representation of, like, the PvE experience. Gotcha. Oh, man, I'm killing them. Yeah! Yeah! You can... Um, I don't know if you have all your weapons grouped together or not. Um, like I've got, I've got seven missile batteries that I all have grouped to one button. Yeah. So I fire, I fire them all at once. Yeah, I've got all my guys at different stuff. Okay. Yeah, the other thing about drones is they don't ever, you can't like salvage cargo <coughs> from them, obviously, because they're drones. Yeah. Oh, but it does look like there's a cargo container that I bet has missiles in it from one of the missile batteries. Oop. Somebody's here. Let's uh see if we can kill this guy. Where is he? He's yellow. Alexander something in an orth in an orth and he's disrupting my warp. Or you know he's disrupting your warp. Oh yeah he is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, if you can get out of range of him, I'm trying to. I'm trying to hit him. I'm I'm He's in my too capsule. far away from me though. My ship blew up. Oh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It just I'm happened gonna, all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm gonna head out of here. I don't know if it was him or it was. I don't think it was the drone I was fighting. 
No, now he's uh, trying to get me, so I'm going to try to warp away from him. I warp to that free port again. He's disrupting my warp, but I'm uh, got oh, yeah. a lot of speed. How fast is this guy? Can I see? There's a combat log somewhere, right? This guy is quick. He has very strong shields. Oh, two ships are warp scrambling me. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> we have been hunted. <laughs> Quickly, jump to the free port. I'm trying. I don't know. Do I Should I dock with the free port? I don't think there's police here. Uh, I'm about to lose this ship. No. That's okay. I was ready for this. I wish I could look at you from here. Oh, they're getting my capsule, too. Oh, come on. No! I am unable to warp. Oh, nope, there I go. I'm peacing out. Oof, where'd you warp to? Am I? Am I? Hold on. I'm warping back to uh, high sec. So, uh, uh, Pykura. Okay, I'm going to warp there, too. But I will need to go pretty far to get myself another ship. <laughs> Just buy one at a station. I guess I could. They, um, you probably... Yeah. Is there a combat log? Um, you can track kill reports. Uh, it looks like down in the lower right, there's a notification feed, and you can look at your kill reports. Um, so yeah, oh, I got... I did have insurance on my ship. Involved parties, Alexander Mantell, the Angles Corporation. Looks like the Angles Corporation. We should... Subpixel Galactic should declare war on them. Yeah, let's do it. Rogue Perfect. drone. I can't... I don't, I don't know if I have the ability to do that. War history. Nothing found. Can I... How do I... Hmm. What ships were they using? Oh, they had some Tech 2 nonsense. Yeah, I got 496,000 ISK for that ship. Okay, I think I got a payout of some fashion. What so I... yeah, it was him who... Wow, he shot rockets at me. Okay, let's go back to... Hold on. Um... Share with me what system your um where did we start? Can you give me that? Um it should be in your personal assets if you have anything at that station. Oh, the Akana Akanawas. Yeah, and we'll just head back to that. Personal Sorry. Where's that under inventory? Well that went about as I thought it would. <laughs> That was pretty good. That was enjoyable, honestly. It was exciting. We, I um I think my worst loss was um a a bad battleship that I like saved and saved up for and I bought it and it was several systems away from me. Mm -hmm. And um I I flew to the station in my capsule and I got the ship and I it was before they've they've implemented a change now, but it was before um, you could default your um, route to avoid low sec, um, and so I had it on autopilot, and it was like twelve jumps or something, and one of them was a low sec system, Oof. and so um, not only was I on autopilot and not super paying attention, but the ship wasn't even fitted with like weapons or defensive systems or anything. It was just this really expensive battleship or exp expensive to me at the time. I basically drained my bank account to buy it. Um, and Jeez. I got rinsed like 
oh, like a thousand kilometers from the the warp gate that would have taken me back into high sec. Um. Okay, I shared it with you. Did you get it? Um. E- I don't that, know if that worked. No, drag the, like drag from oh. the. Yeah, there you go. I didn't know that worked. Thanks, bro. Okay. okay, I'm in this system with you. I don't know. I guess I could. I could probably still warp the fleet, but. Uh, oh, you know what? Don't worry about it. I can just autopilot home. Okay. That destination. Autopilot engaged. That was cool. That was honestly really cool. Um, we, we did it. Without, that's the <laughs> Eve experience. <laughs> you show up somewhere minding your own business, and suddenly a bunch of people come to kill you. So, <laughs> as you saw, so in local, like the little chat windows down here, it tells you how many people are in the local system chat. So what was it? Five people? And yeah. that was two, including us. And then... <laughs> Three ships came to destroy us. Oh, he sent GG. In the oh, he local sent you some chat. mail? No, in the local chat, he had sent GG. Oh. <laughs> well, first Sending he had sent some... GF by accident. I don't think he wants to be my girlfriend. Nice. But then he we'll wrote trim GG. armor for a girlfriend. We should um tell him he's he was on stream. <laughs> um, can I start conversation? I don't know. Well, you might be able to do, yeah, you know, or start chat with just him or send message. You can send him mail through the Eve post office. I started a chat with him and I said, thanks, you made our stream interesting. Um, I wonder if I can pull up any of my old corp mail. Hold on, Eve mail. Let's, let's read some. Let's read what some. What was the last... What was the last email I got from Lev Taganov? Oh, our corp had a lot of Russians in it. <laughs> um, That's how you know it's legit. They, that really is. If you want your Eve corp to be legit, you have to get some Russian players. Okay, the last piece of mail I got from a player was in 2013. Why did I just receive 94,000? Those are probably our bounties. You can go check the... Uh, uh yeah bounty prizes for killing pirates because i just got some money too <laughs> he <laughs> alexander just uh sent uh hey man thanks for the fight sorry if you're new to the game if you ever need help learning feel free to ask see that's also the thing about eve players is it's ruthless but on the whole they're all super nice i said will do have a great night yeah that is a genuinely nice interaction with another yeah. person because that's, I think I told this maybe on another stream, but that happened to me, like, within the first week playing. I accidentally wandered into low sec and got my ship destroyed, and, uh, like, five minutes later, the people who who killed me sent me a message and some money being like, oh, we didn't realize you were, like, a new player. Here's some money to replace <laughs> your ship. That's yeah. so adorable. Yeah. And I got a six-minute logout timer. Yeah, so that's because we engaged with another capsuleer. Um, that's it's basically a, a preventative measure so that you can't just log out. Because um, in high sec, if you log out, your ship um, vanishes essentially, so people couldn't attack you. But that is so you can't attack someone and then log out to protect yourself if you find yourself in like a bad, bad situation. Um, gotcha. Yeah. What is the um? What is the time zone? Um, I think Iceland. Must be, right? That's crazy. It's one that a, it's... 1 a.m. in Iceland right now, or almost 2 a.m. in Iceland. Yeah, that's cool. I would have thought it would have adjusted. Mm-mm. It's all set to Iceland time, like the server reset and everything. That's crazy. Um, I'm reading my mail. Oh, right. Manufacturing composition again. I've been keeping the spreadsheet linked below up to date. Getting the materials took a long time. Selling the modules is slow as well. I've started dropping the sell prices by more in order to move them. Because I had asked any updates on the modules. 
Hold on, let me go back to the beginning of this thread. <laughs> okay, so I sent a message to the whole corp in 2013. I said a couple of months ago I tried contracting out some blueprints I had sitting in my hangar since I'm not trained enough to do anything useful to them. Their storyline blueprints picked up a new one yesterday. If you'd be interested in helping me manufacture some of this stuff, I'd greatly appreciate it. If any of it is worth selling rather than keeping, we can use the profit to cover whatever is necessary for the materials, then split the rest 60-40 in your favor. And that then, I guess, prompted like a dozen long messages wherein a bunch of people in this corp were manufacturing all my blueprints for me. <laughs> that's, a, that's a classic Eve interaction. That's great. I'm looking at some ships here. What do you think? about purchasing um nothing in particular i was just kind of looking at the battleships oh, the, the rock man look at this dreadnought i kind of wish they gave you a size comparison uh oh yeah you can't really look at that in game there's there's a lot of good size comparisons available on the internet though there's also ones that like show you the like the ships we were just in you don't realize they're super big until somebody puts them in the context of like a, a real world city. Oh. And we were basically, we were just flying ships that were basically like several city blocks long. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So I have, if you go to Amar, the Amar ships, um, the, the biggest ship I have is the apocalypse and it's a battleship. Battleship. And it is one of my favorite uh, designs in the game. That's a cool looking ship. Whoa. Come on, somebody buy something from me? Oh, yeah. I've got fewer market orders. All right, we are almost back. We can get in some new ships and try some other PVE in high sec. <laughs> yeah, I'd go back and I'd pick up one of my ships from uh, the Emperor Family Academy, but it's 11 jumps away, and I Oof. don't want to do that. Oof. Yeah, we'll do a little bit more. It's 9.51, so we're uh, we're getting down to it. This is, uh, this is fun. I, I do like this game, but, I, yeah, I think it's too... Like, I think I'd have to go all in on it. Mm-hmm. And I don't... Not that I don't like it enough to go all in, but, like, if someone it's deleted kind of all other video task. games... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because that was the thing when I was playing this. So 2012-2013 was, like, my peak activity for this, and it, that was my first year of college um, mm -hmm. where I had kind of more downtime to do stuff like this. But it's so... There's so many things for you to do that i was trying to like do a little bit of everything and i think in by doing that i wasn't really doing much of anything at all because i was just trying a bunch of stuff yeah i think i'm a little overwhelmed by that too yeah and as a as a new player it's definitely more difficult to say like oh well this is what i want to do because there's always that well what if this other thing is actually more interesting um but now i think i'm at a point where I can go on and I can just do some PVE stuff, to get some bounties, and and then sell off all the goods. And I know like I'm not even I'm not gonna bother with planetary manufacturing. I'm not gonna bother with mining on the whole unless I have to get materials for something and I don't want to buy them. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's just so much. It is a huge game. How big is this capsule? Um, the capsule, I think, is only supposed to be like 15 meters long or something. Let me see if I can... Gotcha. Let me see if it says. You can get skins. Oh, four meters long. So this thing is... What's that? 12 feet? Yeah. Two meters, three feet? So wait, if I go fly up next to like a scorpion ship, I'll be tiny? You will be very small. can't believe you can get skins for your capsule. That's so stupid. It is kind of stupid. Hopefully you'd never see it. <laughs> Okay, what can I buy? What is for sale in this station? Are there, like, YouTube videos where guys are like, hey, guys, it's my Eve capsule run. Uh, I'm going to do a capsule run from Gring Gring to Limtar. Uh, it's going to be incredible. Uh, like I don't know. I know, cool that, like I know that. that 
people have gone from one end of the galaxy to the other, and it's a lot of time. It's, so, also, uh, EVE is just one quote-unquote server, right? It is. So there's, yeah, Tranquility, which is the server we're on. Tranquility is the one server. There's a test server called Singularity, where, the, where, where they roll out um, like upcoming ships and stuff for players to test out before they go live in the main game. And then I think that there is a server just for China um, oh. to facilitate the Chinese government's like internet policies or whatever. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, somebody's selling one of these for 20 million ask no thank you okay i feel like I would. I would like to be in charge of i would like to be in charge of things in this game but not necessarily be doing the things you know what i mean what do you mean like like if i was in like i think i'd fit in well at a corporation like figuring stuff out and like being like but versus like me on my own just going and doing things oh i see what you're saying yeah. Like if there was a job posting, someone's like, "Hey, we need someone for our Eve Eve CEO." Yeah. Well, I was I was tasked uh with attempting to infiltrate a rival corporation, but it did not go very well. At oh. one point. Okay, hold on. Why am I ship equipment? I need to buy I need to buy some light missile launchers. Light missile launcher. Rapid light missile launcher. No, that's yeah, 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 yeah. I'm home. Oh, did you just make it back? Just got back. How did I get there so ahead of you? I've been here for like five minutes. I don't know. Faster than me. Wow, Kaldari Navy light missile launcher. 60 million a pop. No, thank you. What's in the station? I wonder if I can see if there's anything good to okay. buy. I don't possess the skills to use Light Missile Launcher 2. What do I need? Light Missiles 5? Oh, that's going to take me 11 days. No. Um, how do I see, like, what's for sale here? Um, in the uh, regional market, which is above your ship fitting but below your wallet. Gotcha. Oh, there are some cormorants for sale. There's also a Corax. That's a million. Yeah, sure. Boom, new ship. Okay, let me get my fitting. Oh yeah, what, what was my fit from my previous ship? I still have all those missiles you gave me. I thought about fitting one uh, festival launcher on this ship and firing a bunch of fireworks at you because you don't get security penalties for that. But <laughs> I, uh, I that did not do that. Good. I didn't want to sacrifice any of my actual <laughs> missile slots. Oops. That up. Do I not have any other afterburn? Oh, I do have an afterburn. Left that. Field booster. Oh, nope. That, like, takes away everything. Field extenders. Extra large one. Listen, I know. Good grief. Oh, I need to buy... How do I know what type of missiles I need? Um, it should say, like, light missile oh. launchers work with light missiles and rocket launchers. This says Rockets, used cetera, with... Cetera. I see. I found it. Yeah, and, it, and it, should, it should tell you. That item description is usually good about that. 
Bye. Okay, micro warp drive. Show me the micro warp drives. Okay, what other... Man, this is gonna be a really interesting uh, section of the video. Yeah. <laughs> of us just in the regional market. There's not one of these available near... That's okay. Hold on. Oh, sorry. I'm buying just a bunch of missiles. This guy is selling 420,000. Thirty percent below the regional average. Yeah, this guy was like five percent below. Okay, my capacitor's still stable. That's good. I'm sad we didn't go back to that wormhole, because on in this game I named it Jake's Hole. <laughs> I thought, and then the other one I called Jake's Hole, and then in parentheses I wrote inside. We could we could fly out to that point in space, but the wormhole will not be there anymore. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna change the name of my ship to um, the Bantu Wind Two. Twenty. Yeah, I'm not getting whatever. Uh... uh, it is it is the name of the ship in Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark. The uh, cargo the ship, ship that the U boat then runs up on. Yeah. Oh. It's the Bantu wind. That's a deep cut. I know. I'm sorry. Hold on. Where's? Oh, shield. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, mine is. So if you look at my character, <laughs> I named him as such because in the character generator, like the default character model for the Amar, like old man. Reminded me of the bass player from Yes. <laughs> um, and so I named him Chris Squire. And then all of my ship names are named after Yes songs. Because a lot of them have that kind of vibe to it. That's pretty Oh, did you good. buy a Corax? I did. Yeah. Because I had all those missile launchers that you gave me. Okay. Small shield. There's low slots or medium slots. I'm going to go approach this police officer. Yeah, the Marshall is a ship model that I think is one of my favorite of the new ships that they've added. Oh, what's that under? It's the the police ships that are out there. If they're the big battleships, those are uh, oh, the Marshall. Oh, cool. I think that's the one I'm flying up on. Concord Police Commander. Show info. How do I know what it is? I don't know. I'm Concord still trying to drone. put shield extenders on my ship. Can I look at them in the ship thing? Uh, I don't know, because I don't know what foundry they're from. So I haven't actually been able to find them in the, the ship finder. Which I, I told you that when they rolled out that ship finder, it was called the like the interstellar ship identification system. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. And they said, "Oh, we, we shouldn't call it ISIS." <laughs> isn't that the same? Isn't ISIS also the thing in uh, Archer? I I think yeah, that the and I have not. I like H. John Benjamin, but I've never watched. Uh, yeah, neither have I. Archer. Okay, hold on. Shield power relays. Shield rechargers. Am I still approaching this guy? Damn, it's taking forever. Oh, I see, I see. I see. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm still working on my fit. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just flying around out here. Oh, those are far away. Seven jumps for me to buy one of the two. Come on, no one's selling shield relays. Oh. Just realized I could move the 
weapons around to different things. I'm smart. You're flying away too fast. Who's flying away too fast? This guy. Okay, now I need to buy some missiles. I was about to undock without having put any ammo in my ship. Uh, stream mom. Internet is acting up again, so you can't watch streams. At one point, things were saying it would take three hours to download 40 megabytes, so I can't watch today. I'm sorry, stream mom. I hope you can catch this on the recording. Man, that's stupid. I hate internet problems. Okay, I am buying some missiles. Mjolnir light missile. <gasps> that's what I bought. There was a guy selling 400,000 of them. That's a lot. So what? I bought 5,000. They're below, they're below market average. Yeah, 5%, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the ones I bought. Those, those margin. I gave you that coupon. Okay. What is my DPS output? Gross. 735. That seems about where it was before. And I'll have to get myself a shield relay elsewhere. Okay, I am undocking. Let's go find some pirates. Finally, yeah, this is out. actually this this ship with the this missile combo is um pretty good at uh dealing with like frigates up to cruiser with ease okay you are i see you're 39 kilometers away from me i'm going to warp us to i guess the only way this is, seems to be a dead-end system there's only one gate out of here um warp fleet to within zero meter <laughs> now the warp effects they got redone a little while back too and they're very cool daddy's warping okay I spent like uh, six or seven million isk fitting this ship out alright jumping through the gate me too me too doesn't look like there's any anomalies in this system. Let's go to Camacor. Oh, wait. What is... Hold on. The, oh, that's a player station. Okay. This Warp Scorpion fleet. ship is dumb. There's a couple... They've, they've gone back through and redesigned a lot of the ships, but the Rattlesnake um, has not been redesigned I think since its original iteration your destroyer the cormorant that got a bunch of the Kaldari ships got redesigned um oh so look wow we look, look so cool your picture. yeah it's I've been part of one really big fleet and getting like 50 to 100 ships to warp at the same time is wild that's awesome it's super cool okay Jumping. Jumping. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Well, there are a lot of stations in that system. Thank you. Okay, I don't see... Don't see anything here, too. Okay, if we can get down to, like, 0. 0.7 or 0. 0.6, that'll get us closer. Go to Kamakor. Is that where we just were? No, that's Think where so. I want to go. Where everybody well, knows your name. Zero. <laughs> do, 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 oh, do. wait. Sorry. I uh, I meant to. Hold on. Uh-oh. I forgot to do this when it happened. But uh, because of your valor uh, in the face of danger, <gasps> Subpixel Galactic is awarding you. <gasps> um, oh, I have to enter a reason for this? Hold on. Uh, <laughs> 
he needs to pick me up. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. I started this bit too early. I need to put some money into the corp wallet. <laughs> Dang it, Jake. Corporation wallet. Deposit isk. Deposit isk. Can I deposit ISK into my corporation you wallet? You can deposit ISK into the corp wallet should you so desire. Okay. I don't even know how to uh, look at the corp anymore. No, it took the window away when I jumped. I need... Uh, oh, there it is. And this just ruined this bit. Okay. I, Subpixel Galactic, is awarding you. <gasps> You've awarded the Valor in the name of Subpixel. What does that mean? For bravery and for bravery and combat. Oh, that's so good. So, I will have you know, when I made the stupid corporation. I was I made it with the sole intent of being able to hand out <laughs> stupid awards at the, for the sake of this stream <laughs> and you have to pay I had to pay 5 million isk to make that <laughs> medal and then to award you that medal so I'm out 10 million isk <laughs> for this bit <laughs> Okay That's I'm warping so us good. to uh, um this Garista's refuge What's your, um, is your missile range, my max flight range is 44 kilometers. Is that, that should be the same as yours if I gave you similar missile launchers. Um, let me check. What was it again? 44 kilometers. Um, max flight range, 6,000 meters. Oh, I guess I have my missiles, my missile training a lot higher than yours. Okay, I'm going to orbit one of these towers. I'm going to kick on. Oh, I, I'm looking guy. at the actual metal now. Metal. Valor in the name of Subpixel. Issued by Subpixel Galactic. SPXG. Number of times awarded, one. Description. Yeah, this pilot you. has displayed courage and heroism in the name of Subpixel. Our subscribers praised them. Ah, uh, this is adorable. I love it. Are you? I thought I warped the fleet, but you don't no, seem to be here with me. Didn't. I'll warp to you, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Classic Jake for getting me <laughs> after awarding me a medal. Leaving you behind. Since you're the, you're the one who's got the stream feed, so it's much more visually interesting for me to just go do all this on my own. <laughs> Wait, can I award you a medal for, for getting me I don't me think so. I, I would need to make you an administrator in the corporation. I can place a bounty have to pay you. And then you'd have to pay five million isk to give me a medal. <laughs> Dang it! Well, there you are. Oh, what are we? I know we should have been putting at? those bounties into the corp wallet, but I gotta get my missiles up. Apparently, yeah. I think increasing your missile training. There's several uh, skills associated with that but there's ones for like damage and some for distance and so or it may be that i'm just using a different launcher than you i don't i don't remember which one i just bought yeah you gave me the lemos ones mine are arbalist compact light missile launcher are we fighting these guys uh yeah i've been i've been destroying these missile batteries to keep you safe okay i'm gonna go after this guy these frigates should go in just about one volley. Yeah. Boom. That was so cool. Max flight range, yeah, 6,000 meters. Okay, so my orbit's set to 35,000 kilometers. Jeez. Or 35,000 meters. Not that kilometers. did answer my question. I wasn't sure if that stuff got better. Yes. Yeah, everything, like, the the minimum skill you train into just lets you basically use the thing. And then once you train it up and then train up some of, like, the sub-skills, you can get really proficient at uh, doing what you need to do. Oh, the one I was going after is dead now. Yeah, I'll go after a different well, one. Now there's these... Sorry, I'm... 
I'm basically just picking. I'm what? gonna let no, you. Oh, kill the last one. I'm gonna. They'll more will spawn, but I'll let you go for this Please. one. Please, because my missiles just kill these frigates in one hit. <laughs> What's your? Hold on. Go into your fitting. Who's jamming? Saboteur is jamming me from thirty kilometers. Well, don't need to. What's your um? If you go into your fit for a second. Um, what does it say your your max DPS is? Uh, 42. Okay. Mine's higher. I bet. I blew that guy up. I saw. Ooh, there's another guy. Uh, looks guy. like there's some frigates and some uh, cormorants. I'm going to go for one of the cormorants, because those will actually take a couple of hits. If you want to get the pithy demolisher... Oh, okay. Merlin. Merlin was a ship I had for a while. Uh, and then I didn't. <laughs> and then I killed it. I definitely moved into ships that um, can snipe from a distance. Like these these rockets, I'm able to, you know, I'm able to hit this afterburner, and I'm basically I'm orbiting at thirteen hundred. Uh, meters per second and hitting things from 40 kilometers away. Yeah, I would like um, to do that. That sounds much yeah. more fun. Um, and the Galente ships uh, Galente ships usually have really good drone bonuses. Um, so if I can put like some cannons on that that have pretty good range uh, and then my drones can just go out and do their business. Boom. Hitting this guy's shields. Boom, take it. Take it. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to fire that. Sorry, hold on. That thing's toast. What the crap? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the Nihilist and the Architect, because uh, those are the destroyers, and then you can focus on the frigate. Hold on, let me look at you. Ship's so cool. It looks like I'm glad they're aggroing me because I'm able to. I can. I'm fast enough that they're not really able to track me very well. Damn you, bitch. I'm keeping, keeping you safe. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have to give you another medal. I'm going to have to make another medal. <laughs> and to give it to you. Just raking in the isk. Yeah, man. Yeah. If you just run like a couple of these sites, um, like you can clear one of these out in like 15, 20 minutes and get a couple hundred thousand isk up to a couple million isk, depending on the the um, setting. And it looks like there's uh, at least two wrecks here so far that have cargo. Are you what ship are you targeting? Uh, you, know, you can target multiple ships. Yeah, I know. At a time. I'm on the demolisher. Keep looking over at stream. But I, my, I can only send my weapons after one of them. Because they're yeah, all. Yeah, but you at least then have the other ones, so you don't have to keep clicking a bunch of times. Okay, I'm gonna attack the other ship. Yeah, the plunderer. Targeting. Yeah. That's the Kestrel. Ooh. Or Kestrel. There was a, um, they did, I think it was probably seven or eight years ago now, but they did an orchestral concert of a bunch of the Eve soundtrack. Ooh. Um, and it's really cool. They never made it for sale. There's just the live recording of the of the performance as it happened at, at Eve Fest, like Ooh. 2013 or 2014 or something, but it's really, really good. I got a restrained micro warp drive. Oh, are you you're salvaging things right now? Well, I'm. Oh, there's still sure guys. Sorry. Destroy you. I didn't realize there were more guys. Yeah, they'll keep respawning, or they'll keep spawning in waves. I think each of these sites is like five or six waves. Okay, let me just loot this stuff and then I'll come help you. Yeah, boy. I just want to get this quad lift micro warp drive. 
It's very important to me. Precious to me. It's precious to me. I say hello. No. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going after this demolisher. Okay. Which one? There's two of them. I'm going after the closer one to me. Well, I'll kill one, and hopefully it's not the one you're approaching. <laughs> I hope so. I want to see my missiles fly into frame. Okay, it wasn't the one you were going. Yeah, I'm good I'll, let you, uh, I'll let you handle that guy. I got him. We know he's shooting at you. I'm just as good as him. <laughs> I'm nimble. I am fast. Oh, I like. I can see myself off in the distance. Okay, is there one more wave? Nope, that's it. All right, so awesome. I'll take it. Looks like if you already salvaged one of these, it looks like maybe four Rex had salvageable material, so I'll take two and you can take the right. other. Or you can take all of them, because I've got a bunch of crap sitting in my storage. No, you take it. My personal assets says I have 343 items at my <laughs> my other place. Um, if you want to take that pithy antichrist, I'll go after this demolisher. Anarchist. <laughs> oh, anarchist. Sorry, I read it really fast. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Jesus is canon in this. Uh... <laughs> Amar is closest with this like weird version of space Catholicism, but I love space Catholicism. <laughs> okay, there was another. We can warp from here to this uh, Garista's Ooh. Refuge. Whoa, and I got a Garista's Knight. Bronze Tag. It's worth 2 million isk. Oh, yeah. So metals will sometimes drop from ships, um, and you can usually use those. There's a thing. If you go to your wallet, you'll see that there's the isk and then the plex and then loyalty points. Mm -hmm. Um loyalty points are used you can redeem those with factions to get faction stuff and usually they'll require points isk and like medals from enemies <gasps> Did i just um, hit you you just booped me um but it's i just always sell those because gotcha. it's easy money all right i'm heading warp to fleet within Ooh. 20 kilometers oh i'm glad you remembered me I just specifically <laughs> warp to fleet. All right, adios. Hey, um, if you didn't see it on Twitter already, Joanna retweeted. Uh, they were uh, using old Xboxes to make. Oh, I saw that. Isn't that incredible? Uh, for That's people who crazy. are watching, yeah, they were using old Xboxes. They were, they were using old Xboxes and they were messing around with them and they were recording sensors interacting with the electromagnetic fields to make sound effects for Halo Infinite. And they sounded insanely cool. Yeah. Um, okay, we're killing things again, right? Yeah, I've seen I've seen similar things like that. Like I don't know if you've seen like video of those barcode musicians. Yes. Um, that it's crazy. Where it's that that kind of thing where they're 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 not recording the physical sound of the Xbox, but the sound of yeah, like you said, the electrical fields that the Xbox is emitting. Um, yeah, that's super cool. Because yeah, it's a lot of stuff where you're like, wow, that, yeah, that sounds like perfect for Foley in a Halo game. Yeah, it sounded so, and like they with the Xbox One, they were like hitting the like eject disc and stuff and you could really mm -hmm. tell like you could hear it but it was also like this weird like woo, woo, woo in the background yeah. of it too and yeah, it was like like a so super cool. cool like like digital representation of an analog system yeah it was super neat all right i'm, I'm trying to finish off this 
missile battery. Oh, because my... Okay, here we go. Shooting this guy in the face. Looks like he's, uh, oh no, he's jamming me. Why, though? Why would you do that, Mr. Pirate Man? Alright, they're bringing out the destroyers. I'll get the gorilla, if you want to get the destructor. Going after the destructor. Destructor. Sorry, I'm going to promote you to... I'm going to get you further up in the command structure. In the fleet. Die! Die! Yeah, I was hoping they just introduced a new line of ships today. Um, and I was going to try to get one of them to have on stream, but I don't think... I haven't seen any in the regional market because I think the way that they're having players acquire them is through blueprints in in combat sites in low sec. Uh -huh. um, and uh, I didn't want to go through the work of... A, flying to low sec, and, and risking that a player wouldn't kill me while I tried to salvage one of these blueprints to then make a ship that I might not even have the materials for. But True. They've introduced a new weapon system with those ships called a Vortron Arc Projector. Hold on. can check that I am saying that right. Uh, yeah, Vortron Arc Projectors, which is um, like an EM-based weapon. It's like a huge bolt of lightning that can arc to up to five other ships that aren't the Ooh. one that you're targeting. Um, so it's That's almost cool. like an... But the, the downside is that it will not designate if that ship is allied or not. So if like you and me in a, are in a fleet, there's the potential that we will hit each other. Oh. Uh, so it's great for like big, like solo PVE stuff or even like big fleet stuff where you might have support ships to repair your shields and things. Um, Cause it seems real. I watched some videos of people testing out, like playing with the ships on the test server. Mm -hmm. um, and they're really cool and the weapons are really cool, but um it definitely has that drawback. Whereas these simple ballistic systems are very straightforward. Pew, pew, pew. What's the bounties on these? These are like a couple thousand disc a piece. Yeah, I almost got them. I also accidentally smuggled drugs in Eve one time. <gasps> what? It's so there's like certain items that you can pick up on missions and things um, that you can't sell on the market because it's like quote unquote illegal within the um, like like in Minmatar or Kaldari areas you can't um, like sell human cargo um, gotcha. but you might inadvertently pick that up from like a cargo container if you blow up a building out in a combat site and if you don't realize it, 
when you go through a warp gate, Concord will be like, you have illegal materials. And then, like, you won't be able to dock anywhere until you, like, eject that cargo. It's super weird. That's crazy. So I accidentally trafficked drugs, and then I jettisoned them. Yeah, I looted okay, one Okay, do you guy. want to... You should take the Dread Garista, this uh, anarchist wreck, because um, that's probably going to have a medal, because um, that was the commander ship that we just blew up. Oh, the Dread Garista? Okay, I'll go after that. And then we can go try to do one more of these. There's not another one in this system, but we can probably find another one. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. La Lo Taro Salvatore. Lo Taro? La Taro. I still don't know if I'm saying your name right. Uh, is asking what other games are reviewed in the series. Before this, we did Earth and Beyond. Um, but yeah, uh, I kind of Meridian 59 was another one, uh, Anarchy 51. Online, uh, Meridian 51. What I thought that's what it, I didn't think I, I might be getting the number wrong. I think it is 59. Was that the tank one or was that something else? No, the tank one, I don't even remember what the tank one was. Boy, I did get some good stuff off that, Terra. Terra something? Oh, Terra, yeah. Terra Terra Wars? Terra Battlegrounds? Something like that. Um, and you guys did EverQuest? Yep, we did EverQuest, which started it all. Um, there's a couple other ones. And there's then... a YouTube playlist of them all. Actually, I gotta make sure... I gotta go check... A, I gotta make thumbnails for the streams ones, and I have to oh, add right. these to the yeah that the thing thumbnail template i worked so hard on it's a very good thumbnail template thank you um, um you guys did what was the text-based one avalon avalon that's what it was called avalon was the first is the first quote unquote other than the, the everquest one is the first one Ian and i were originally going to play a bunch of everquest and then that game has not aged well and ian has the patience of a toddler um <laughs> so we decided to go for uh we decided just to check out all these games. Which is why I'm glad Jake's here. Jake has patience with, with the video games. I, well, so that was an interesting thing that I was I was actually sitting and thinking about um, as, uh, you know, the gaming discourse is what it is. That I remember for a long time as a kid playing a game, like games that I can look back on now and be like, oh, yeah, that control scheme, you know, was kind of clunky or wasn't very intuitive or or like i can i can quantify like the design aspects of a game now but i definitely there was a long time where as a kid i never really was like oh that game's bad i always was just like i must just not be doing this right yeah totally um, where now i can look back on things and be like oh yeah that maybe could have been implemented better and i think that's like i don't know enjoyed a lot more things as a kid yeah i think i got ian to understand because he he was like i forget when we were talking about it he was like he didn't understand why like i was playing these old games on gog and stuff like that and then i just had to be like it's just because i want to see what they're offering like mm -hmm. i know they're bad but i want to the bad stuff makes me laugh and i think it's funny i think that kind of like got to him like helped him realize why i was doing it Okay, are you following me? I thought you were going for that same wreck that I was going for, and so I was ceding it to you. <laughs> oh, I thought I was done. I I got. I thought you were taking the other ones. I'm no, just there's two me. more. Go to the the Pythior nihilist wreck. Uh, oh, and I'm going to this wrecker. Okay, <laughs> I've been following you for like five minutes now. Um, Sorry, I was in my inventory. But yeah. Ian also just hates good games, so <laughs> like Destiny. Destiny, I'm I've been enjoying the new season. I I, mean, I been, started playing it. It was pretty fun or whatever, but I legit enjoyed it. I'm not gonna get in my my Destiny talk now. My my Destiny and relationship with Destiny, and also, oh, I'm so glad Ian's not here for any of that anyway. Right, this is the complaint about to, uh, Ian uh, stream. 
Yes. You know, it's good, good that he logged off. We're going to go to Rubas, and I don't think there's going to be anything there, but... Uh, okay. Or actually, it is 10.30, so we could call it. Oh, I mean, uh, I mean we can... You are the boss. Uh, well, probably. I actually got to... I'm sweating. It's very hot in this room, <laughs> so I figure, you know, we just finished that battle. It's I'm pretty epic. I'm in Florida, Will. I know you're in Florida. Anyways, folks... This has been Server Quest Live. I'm glad it's. I'm kind of glad it's back. Next week, next Tuesday, um, is I think we're doing another server, server quest. Uh, I think it is Toontown Online. Um, and that one I will be like playing from the beginning. So, um, oh, Jake, yeah, you're welcome to join. The Raven. This is one of my favorite battleship designs. Sorry for a sec. This Raven right here. He's about to warp away. He's gone. Oh. Um, I didn't even sorry, see I interrupted you to talk about my ship. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, you're welcome to join us next week for Toontown Online, um, if you'd like. Uh, but Ian, I know, I think he'll be back for the 23rd, and I'll make him play it with me. Um, that was the other reason this show died, is Ian started doing other things during the stream. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... No, I never got to yell at him for it, but man, I'm just venting today. Um, just because Jake's here and he's so much just better. Venti. Venti. Um, anyways, this has uh, this has been Server Quest Live. This was Eve Online. Uh, I might keep playing. I'm not sure, actually. Who knows? It's I'm fun. I'm going to autopilot back to my home system. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. I should probably do that, too. Uh, You're a lot closer than me. I've got 11 jumps to go. Well, I guess it's not. It's actually not my home system. It's just where all my career stuff is. Um, that destination. But yeah, sorry. Pilot. We keep interrupting the outro. No, it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Will Crosby. You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. Jake, where can people find you on Twitter? Uh, twi Twitter at underscore Jake Terrio. And then also, yeah, what, what the other thing, your SoundCloud? I do always plug my SoundCloud, and I don't know if it's gotten me any other clicks, but that's uh, Jake Terrio Music, if you feel so inclined. Awesome. Everyone should feel inclined. Um, anyways, until next time, it's just been us. Go to subpixelfilms.com. <laughs> It'll bring you right to our YouTube channel. Like, comment, subscribe. There's a great video by Ian this week that I have not watched yet about cinematic games and how he hates fun and he hates everything because he's Ian. Um, and he's soulless. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching Lataro, Salvatore. Uh, yes, the Disney game. I think it's uh, the Toontown is the next one in the... in the. So I, I made a whole list of MMOs and then I took out the bad ones. Or the least interesting ones, and then I put them, put them back in order. Anyways, I'm gonna log off now. Bye. <laughs> Thanks.